Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you an easy 68% win rate Sejuani jungle build. Even though she's not a high tier jungle, if you're taking the right runes and the right build, you can still carry on her, or at the very least, give a lot of value for your team. For your runes, you're gonna want Glacial Augment or Aftershock. Glacial Augment is better for ganking. You won't be as tanky in team fights, but your ganks will be quite a bit better and your lockdown on whoever you're targeting will be better as well. So Glacial Augment, free boots with Futures Market, Cosmic, with Triumph and Alacrity. We're up against an Evelyn. We're going to get a war down just in case. You never know if someone's going to invade. Even if they're playing a champion who doesn't normally, you want to make sure. Their team is really only melee for their engage with the Scion Eve. I should do well against that. And then Brand's going to counter that super, super hard against the Scion. Stunning him out, bouncing R's off of him and Eve. So you're going to want to start E. Use your best tool if you're going to start on a buff. Doesn't really have a cooldown, plus it does a lot of damage. If you're going to solo start on Raptors or Wolves, you're going to want to start with W instead. So Juwani is the most vulnerable in her first clear route. You'll be missing a little bit of health compared to something like a work or an Olaf. We're going to auto attack then W. Focus down the big one. And your W has huge AoEs. We can hit the whole thing, just like so. Right now we're just waiting. Our W is still on a cooldown and I'd like to have it up for Raptors anyways. So we're chilling. After Raptors, we'll do Wolves into blue. And uh, we, at that point, Scuttle should be up. Sejuani doesn't have enough time to do a full clear into Scuttle. Usually only have time to do five camps in Scuttle. And I should be able to beat Evelyn on Scuttle Fight. We took Ignite. Ignite has a much higher win rate on Sejuani than Flash does. It helps you to win your Scuttle Fights and your 1 versus 1s. Even with Ignite, you're still going to lose to something like Warwick, 1 versus 1. But any off meta jungler or any weak solo jungler or kind of in the middle will uh, should lose to you if you have Ignite. So Evelyn's only done her blue side. I'm going to go kill her. We should be able to kill her, I think. She's low on health. She forced a gank. She three camp cleared gank. A four camp clear invade instead of five camp into scuttle. She might already have a red buff finish by the time I get there, but regardless, I'll be running into her here. Got her with our E. We still have our Q to use it as a gap closer till after she flashes, just like that. If you're already on top of someone, you normally want to hold on to your Q. That way you can still get to them. Just like we did there. So you're going to auto attack then W. Make sure you land both parts of your W for double damage and the second part of your W slows. That's going to knock it back. I'll Q it and then I'll push it into the other scuttle because I want double scuttles. Gangplank isn't top right now. I could still probably gank it. I would rather get double scuttle guaranteed. I don't know if Scion's going to back after that wave. I could engage on him here if he steps up into me. Evelyn can't solo me even if she has like Dark Seal or something. There's no way. Alright, double scuttle. Try to go mid. May even be able to kill her right here. She'll be doing her gromp going over to Wolves. Most likely. All right, she's not over here. That's a little surprising. I don't actually see where she is. Okay, she went top side. That's really weird. I don't know why she went over there. She should have been on her gromp and then on her way to wolves. We would have killed her. Hopefully she doesn't go for my camps. Because she knows I went from bot side scuttle. So she was paying attention when I fought her. I didn't have blue buff, so she would have known I hadn't taken it yet. I think that's what's going on right now. I'm gonna run into this Draven. Turn on our sweeper. Oh, it's warded. I don't think he has his knock back though. I think he already used it. We're gonna W then Q to get on him. Got our E stun on him. One more auto and he's dead. Nice. We had to get on him ASAP. That's why we queued so early. We didn't get the behind the choke on him. When you come up from behind on a pier, rear naked choke, you just walk up, auto attack Ws. In this case, I had to queue just to get to him, so he couldn't get to his turret. Quite a bit of damage. I really like Ignite Sejuani. You can see why it has such a high win rate. 
First item buy, you're gonna get uh, bombies. You're gonna grab that, and you can even grab Dark Sail. Such a one has a lot of AP scaling. If you're ahead early, like I am here, after you get your bombies, grab a Dark Sail. You'll be getting your free boots, so you don't have to worry about buying those. I have a feeling Evelyn's in my jungle. I have a really strong feeling that she took my camps. Yeah, she literally took my camps. What a rat. Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate. Scion only has armor. I do mostly magic damage. We can do something here. This might be warded with the way he's acting. He backed off immediately on the minimap when I stepped up. Could just be coincidence. We're gonna have to block his R. Auto attack W, auto attack E. I'm gonna Q him into GP and he's gone. Feels bad for Scion. We're gonna dump that wave now. Evelyn's going bot side, I'm gonna ping that out. I can't believe she got three of my camps. I'll check her Raptors on my way to mid. I'm sitting on two smite charges right now, which isn't optimal. I wanna use one of those. Yeah, she's already taking her camps. We can hop over the wall and fight him. Talon's not here, so I can't really kill him by myself. Otherwise, that would have actually been really free. If Ignite was up, I could still go for it. We'll grab our uh, Raptors into red. And then we might look to fight Evelyn on her red again. I think she would have taken her blue by now, and she'll probably be level 6 because she's been AFK power farming. I also don't know how much minion XP she leached bot lane. As a jungler, you're usually going to be hitting level 6 anywhere from the 6 minute mark to the 8 minute mark. The standard spot to hit it is around 7 minute 30. If you're taking a lot of minion XP, you can usually hit it before 7 minute 30. I haven't really taken any minion XP this game, so I hit it like exactly 7 minute 30. Victor's right here. This must be warded. They keep reacting to where I am. It's so annoying. These guys are pinched. Evelyn's not level 6. I don't know what she thinks she's doing. He's going to die from my W. He's a goner. Feels bad for Victor. He was playing ridiculously aggressive just because I'm the jungler and I'm playing a tank champion. He thinks he can bully me around. He, has, he doesn't even have any gold. No gold advantage, but he's going to bully me. Because Talon wasn't there. Talon was uh, basing or something. I don't really want these minions to see me. Last time Evelyn knew I crossed over, she punished me for it. I'm trying to go around them. Uh, of course it's warded. Dang. The wards give a little bit of vision even after you break them. So I'm going to back off here and act like I'm not going. And then I'll swing back around. I can give vision for up to like two and a half seconds. It's a little bit of RNG. Sometimes they don't really, and sometimes they do. She was here recently. She laid a controller. She's probably watching from that bush. Someone's watching. Someone laid that recently. She might have laid it over Krug Wall. She could be over there right now. Hope she's not level six. She probably will be. And she just lost red buff. That's good for us. I don't want to use my Q and put it on cooldown. I might end up in a weird spot there. Her raptors are up. She might be AFK right now. I'm shocked raps are up. We can always hop over this wall. We're pretty safe here. Victor looks like he's coming straight at me. We've got our slow down. It's going to help us to land our stun. Towns is getting attacked by Evelyn, I guess. And then I died. That was shocking. I needed to ignite sooner on the Victor. I didn't even realize Evelyn was there. I had my screen panned too far forward. I needed to pan it down a little bit. A little surprised Evelyn was kind of able to solo talent. She probably she had to land charm on him or something there. You're gonna want to go Sunfire Aegis first item, then we're gonna be going for War Mogs. Not many champions can make good use of War Mogs like Sedge can. It's primarily because the way her passive interacts with her overall HP. It's really good for her. And then uh, once she's out of combat. When she gets her passive back up, that's when Warmog's healing her, so she can come back in with full health with her passive up. Evelyn's the same level as me. Dang. It's really hard to build level leads in the jungle since your monsters give you such little XP. You're only going to build level leads if you're leeching a lot of minion XP. 
you get into the habit of that on every successful game. Try to shove in the wave with your teammates. I say that pretty much every video because it's super, super important. A lot of people they'll gank, get a kill, they'll leave, and they're actually falling behind in XP and all that type of stuff. Eve's top side right now. We could take Dragon off that. We're gonna max Q second, get that juicy cooldown and extra damage. I'm gonna go mid with my R. Whenever you use your R on Sejuani, if possible, you want to stun them first and then break it, then R, then break it. Because if you R them, it won't let you use your E stun on them for like 8 seconds. Talon's kind of scaring him away. I'm going to walk into him and blue smite him, then W. Alright, he's a goner. His R is still staying on Talon. I'm going to shove this in. We want to get that sweet XP. Looks like Talon's backing off because he's afraid of the Evelyn. I can go bot with my R. Blue Smite's really nice for... Ooh, someone's here. I don't know if Eve's here. Blue Smite's really good for Sejuani because it slows him. It makes it easy to land the second part of your W, which is where most of the damage is, and that's where the slow is as well. We're going to Q into her. Auto attack W. Auto attack E. Auto attack R. Blue Smite. She's dead. Absolutely goofed on. Oh, it's scary. I'm glad that was a Soraka, not a Bran. If they had the Bran, I would have died there from the damage. I want this. Thank you, Caitlyn. And I'll hold with Dragon. I'm going to hold on to my Q. It's a long cooldown. And uh, my E's going to be doing so much damage to this thing anyways. There's no reason for us to waste Q. There's a control word there. I'm not too interested in this fight because I'm on all cooldowns. If my R was up, I would stay, but I'm missing half health and my R's on cooldown. They could fight us for that blue buff. I'll fight her for her next red buff. For your boots on Sejuani, you're usually going to be getting plated steel caps or you're going to be going for lucidities. The only time you're going to get merc treads is if they're giga AP heavy. This game, they have two and a half APs and then they have two ADs. It wouldn't really count Sorak as a full AP because she doesn't have that much damage output, period. So we're going to be looking at the most fed person on their team, which is the Evelyn. She's very bursty, which are passive counters, though. So I think we'll just go play to still caps this game. It helps against turrets and dragons and barons, all physical damage outputs. Caitlyn got the kill. Where's Soraka at? Wow, she flashed. Rock is being really ballsy. You're dead. Look at that damage. That was so much. That was so much damage. She's going to try to re-engage on me. I'm going to act like I'm just trying to reset here. These minions keep following me, though. She's obviously going to come in for me. Talent's going to let me die. I'll just leave then. She can't kill me unless she has R. I could, I could QWR her. I wouldn't have time to stun her with my E before she could pinch R. Looks like she's not going to fall out because she didn't know where Talon is. We're going to grab Giant's Belt. We'll grab this and we'll go for Lucidities. If you're ahead on Sejuani or if played Steel Cap or Merc Treads aren't really screaming at you, if neither one makes a, a huge amount of sense, then Lucidities are really good. Get your abilities on a lower cooldown. All of Sejuani's abilities give super high value. can W then uh, Q like I've been doing this game in certain situations it makes a lot of sense if their flash is up it's really bad though because they can flash to dodge your Q and your W at the same time puts you in a bad spot it's good when you have to get there super fast and you know their flash is down so you can just get your damage on top of them immediately and you're slow to stop them from getting to their turret perfect world you're just going to come up from behind auto attack W or W auto attack either one Ion shoving up. We have more items. He's very tanky though. His one of his abilities, his shield one, gives him a lot of extra health whenever he can kill something like minions. We're gonna try to cue him into gangplank, stun him out, blue smite him, ignite him, and he's dead. We're so so tanky. I'm tempted to do Harold. I wasn't paying attention to what happened mid. I don't know how low the victor is. 
Don't really want Evelyn walking up on me either. All right, I'll do it. Plant makes it worth. I think Victor probably based. He hasn't shown up since. It's gonna let us get an easy herald. Comparing Sejuani to other tank junglers like Zac or Ramus, I'd actually say she's better in most ways. I, I think Zac is very comparable. And Ramus is... I feel like Sejuani is more consistent than both of them because her clear is faster than Zac's. And uh, her solo capabilities are much stronger than Zac's pre-6. Zac's really awful at fighting people to the death before his level 6. So she's a very consistent uh, tank jungle option compared to a Ramus or a Zac. It's harder to cancel her CC than a Ramus Q or a Zac E. You can knock Zac out of the air and then he, ha he has no CC. Or a Ramus Q, you can cancel that with anything in the game. So, so Jelani, it's not quite as easy because her R is ranged hard CC. Evelyn's pushing bot side right now. She lost Raptors, we're up a huge amount of CS on her. We'll go top with our Herald here. Gangplank got it shut down with his R, that's nice. We'll be killing Victor here in a second. I'm gonna WQ right into him. I'll run him down. Easy goner. Oh, he flashed it. I'm gonna WQ, land the slow part, and have to run away. He had barrier and R. That really sucks for us. After we get, uh, after we get our warm box, get all of our health back from that situation. That's what we'll be doing here. Ignite's back up. We could solo anyone in the game on their team. Sunfire, you just give so much damage. It's already on 866. Probably more than anyone else's mythic has done this game. Final item, you're going to go Thornmel against their team. It makes a lot of sense because of the Soraka heals. We need the heal cut that Thornmel provides upon them autoing us or upon us CCing them. So yeah, it's done 866 damage. Talons has done nothing because he just got it. Caitlyn's has done 500. GP's has restored 300 mana, done 200 damage. Like compared to everyone else this game, like our mythic has done significantly more. Sunfire Aegis is really strong for season 12 so far. Uh, they just gave it some stat buffs, so it actually feels pretty good. Same with Lethal Tempo. I wouldn't really recommend Lethal Tempo on Sejuani though. She's not that type of champion. Lethal Tempo has turned Warwick into a top 5 jungle champion. Top 6. Top 10 depending on the elo. If it's Iron through Diamond, he's really like a top 3. Again, heaps of health back from Warmog. Soraka's way out of position. Talon could cut her off there if he wanted to. We didn't quite get the ward. That sucks. Alright, got the blue buff. Draven's out of position. He's not paying attention. He's on autopilot because he's behind. Probably doesn't care if he dies here. I gotta go for the Eve. I'm gonna Q to get to her. Ooh. Auto attack R, auto attack. Oh, this is bad. Q away. Yeah, we're out of there. That was really close. Things got hairy because Soraka R made it take so long to kill Eve. Our war mog was starting to heal us and then the minions hit us. Now you'll see that sweet, sweet Warmog healing, baby. 221 health per second. It's faster than Fountain, I think. Really quick. There's more words to be had here. They have no way of killing me. As long as I don't die and throw my shutdown, we're in full control of this game. I'll play for Dragon Soul. I'm not going to risk throwing on Baron unless we kill multiple of them before we start it. And my smite is up. Ooh, what is this? Victor's hanging out over here. And that, yeah, that's it. The enemies quit, man. They were not having a good time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Sejuani Jungle Commentary Guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.
Looking at the damage dealt the enemy champions, we had one of the highest in the games. We were the third highest, not bad for Tank Sejuani. Looking at damage taken, we'd taken the most in the game by quite a bit. And for self-mitigated damage, we took the most as well, more than Scion. Looking at runes, Glacier Augment gave us a fat uh, 22 seconds of slow on the enemy champions. And it reduced 172 damage that they were putting out to my allies. That's decent. Magical Footwork got an 8 minute mark. That's really solid. As long as you get it before the 9 minute mark, you're getting it pretty early. We never really used Futures Market. The only point of it is to guarantee getting a Bomby Cinder on your first back. And since we were doing well early on, we just didn't need it. Triumph gave us uh, back 953 health, 240 bonus gold. And we got a Lacrity pre 12 minute, which is awesome. All in all, I'd say Sejuani Jungle is an insane carry. I definitely can see why this builds 68% win rate. Just make sure you take the right runes and you take Ignite Secondary Sum, and I think you guys will be good to go.